Uh, Danny, how's uh, training gone this week? Uh, it's been good. Just uh, you know, just a matter of getting rid of the kinks, really, in the summer. You know, guys. Uh, you know, some guys haven't been on the ice that often. Some guys have been on a couple times. So, you know, even the guys that have, I think, you know, just you know, shinny hockey and, and you know, developing bad habits. So, it's just uh, just a matter of working the kinks out and getting rid of the bad habits, and um, you know, working on these guys' conditioning and, and get them uh, get them uh, ready for training next week. We'll have the routines involved this week so far. Uh, just a little bit of skill work, a um, little bit of skill work, you know, like working on skating and stuff. I mean, you'd be surprised how much you lose after four or five months. Some guys haven't been on the ice, so a little bit of skill work. And then uh, obviously some conditioning as well, getting these guys skating, feeling the puck. And um, like I said, just getting the kinks out. And, uh, you know, as we go on later in the week here, we'll uh, we'll progress into some more team stuff. But, uh, you know, just for now, just some individual skill work and uh, some conditioning. And what are you expecting from what are you expecting condition wise from the imports coming in next week? Oh well, I mean they're all expected to come in uh, in top shape, right? I mean it's uh, it's a long season. We, we we're all aware of of the amount of minutes that the the imports play, especially um, here in Fife. So um, it's essential for these guys to come in in good shape and ready to go. Um, you know, guys can come in great shape and. But if guys that haven't skated, you know, it'll take a week or two to get the kinks out and, and get into, you know, match fitness. But uh, we're aware of that. But if, if guys come in in good shape and have a base, then it takes less time. And, and the less we have to worry about conditioning, the more we can focus on team stuff and, uh, you know, getting on the same page as a team. Um, the three new players have come to the team for next season. What can you tell me about them and what you're expecting from them this season? Uh, we're expecting a lot from them. Um, you know, we, we made some decisions on, on some good hockey players and uh, we feel that these guys have, have made us a better team all around. Um, you know, a guy like OJ, he's going to come in. He's a guy that scored at every level he's played at. He, he's, uh, you know, a top five goal scorer in the East Coast League last year, so it says a lot about him. Um, but he's also a guy that's capable of playing different positions. He's a guy that plays both sides of the puck and, and uh, you know, we're going to start him at centre and, and see how it goes. Um, he's, he's completely comfortable playing there and I think he'll be uh, an exciting player for us uh, this season. Um, Fleming, um, you know, all the, all the reports we've had is uh, very dominant in the face-off circle, which is huge for us this year. Um, you know the games we had last year where we had success you know we, we you know we were seeing those stats 65 70 percent in the face-off circle and it just gives you that extra possession in the game and um he's a guy that's dominant there and and he's creative player as well scores goals sets up goals um you know plays both sides of the puck as well just like oj so we're excited in that sense as well that we're getting two guys that can can you know improve our penalty kill i think there was times last year where our, our pk got worked pretty hard and 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 for good parts um was 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 pretty decent pk you know other than maybe the first month of the season where we really weren't weren't up to the paces on our pk but uh i think they'll make us stronger in that sense as well and and, and also our power play as well um milam's a guy that's coming in um obviously had a brief stint in cardiff um but he's played at, at really good levels and and he's put up some pretty impressive numbers uh for a defenseman um he's an offensive guy big shot and i think with him and hainsey there at the back end we can uh, we'll be able to roll two separate units um with not much in between either or so um essentially that'll make our, our power play a lot stronger and uh you know Milam's gonna we're gonna look to him to play a lot of minutes um this year for us as well so um, I think he'll be a dangerous guy for the back and hopefully he can come in and get settled in and, 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 and do a job for us as well. Uh, Shimont and, and Fulton were on the same line last year, Lukacevic um, and Reba were on the same. Have you decided where you're going to fit Fleming and OG yet? Uh, we've, we've, uh, we've discussed it, yeah. Um, but that's what, the pre that's what training camp's for and that's what preseason's for as well. These Allberg games will give us a chance to, uh, you know, Maybe maybe tweak a few um, combinations and see what works best. And you know, initially, I mean, you can never be sure from the go. But uh, you know, we have a few ideas in mind, and, and we'll try a few different things in exhibition. Um, with the Albert games, how good a test is it going to be against a, a team out with the league that we're playing just now? Yeah, really good. Um, I think the Danish league is is in maybe a bit of a different style, more two-way hockey. Um, you know, good skaters in that league as well. Um, so they're going to come in here. They, they've, they've got a good, solid, um, younger team. 
um, with some good imports and and good national players as well. So uh, you know, Tom will have those guys prepped. They've they've been together for uh, I want to say three close to four weeks now. Um, they've already had a, a couple games, so they're going to be on the same page. They're going to be a little bit better prepared than we will probably. Um, but uh, you know, it'll be like I said, it'll be a great test for our guys, and if we can just get guys in, um, in playing in different situations, see see which guys are are playing well with others, and and uh, see what we're getting out of guys, and and you know, get guys on the same page, uh, you know, with systems and stuff like that. But uh, you know, ideally, I think the main thing of the games are is, is guys getting up to pace and getting that match fitness back before we start the real thing and uh, against Coventry. Just, just finally, next week the imports come in. You expect them all to be in by early part of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're expecting, uh, well, hopefully all of them to be in by uh, you know Monday, Tuesday at the latest. Um, you know, just waiting to clear on a couple of visas here, which is always uh, out of your control once you've you've started the process. But we we're 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 quite hopeful. We've got the majority of them done. You know, bar one or two guys. So. Um, yeah, expect them to come in, hopefully get three or four good training sessions together as a whole team. Um, we'll have five that week, but, uh, you know, two, three guys might miss Monday, Tuesday, maybe um, at the most. But, uh, you know, three, four training sessions uh, as a full team together and, and get prepped for that, that weekend. And then, like I said, it's just a matter of us to get a look at guys, um, not just the new imports, but, you know, see where see where our returning guys are at. Um, see where the Brits are at as well, fitness-wise, and uh, you know, see where guys can maybe slot in. And 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 like we we've mentioned all summer, you know, we we have a lot of bodies this year, more than we had last year. And uh, you know, there's going to be guys that are going to compete for jobs. So um, you know, it's a good chance to to impress in the preseason and and show which guys want to swat and which guys are willing to work for it.